Hi there. Today I want to talk to you about the computer security problem, and um, I'm afraid the problem's you. Well, not just you, it's me as well. It's all of us. It's all of us fleshy things sitting in front of the keyboards making mistakes. It's it's us when we don't apply security patches when we're supposed to. It's us when we plug a USB stick into the back of the computer without thinking about it. It's us when we receive an unsolicited email attachment containing a Word document or an Adobe PDF file. And because the email has been crafted in a particular way, we're socially engineered into opening it. And we're tricked. And we're fooled. And we make bad decisions because we're humans. And humans make an awful lot of bad decisions. But you can get smart. You can get smart if you get educated about computer security. A little bit of awareness in your family or at your work can do absolute wonders because you can have all the defences imaginable in place. You can have the latest antivirus, you can have all the behavioural stuff, you can have the firewalls and, and all kinds of different levels of protection protecting your organisation, defending you from these different attacks. But ultimately, if you make a mistake, if you're foolish, if you chose a bad password, if you connected to a Wi-Fi hotspot which wasn't properly secured with encryption, then the hackers might be able to take advantage of that. And we're seeing this right now, actually. There's been a, a report today about a piece of malware called Drydex, and it's believed that thousands and thousands of people may be at risk from a piece of banking malware which has been spammed out a lot over recent months. And uh, the good news is the National Crime Agency here in the UK and the FBI and others have been taking apart, dismantling the botnet. But there'll be other criminals to take their place and no doubt they'd be trying to take advantage of it. But the interesting thing about the Drydex malware is it didn't really exploit any vulnerabilities, at least not any vulnerabilities on your computer. What they did was they exploited the bug in your brain. They tricked you into thinking that they'd sent you an important legal document or a fax message via email or maybe an invoice which they wanted you to pay urgently. And because your finger got all twitchy and you clicked without thinking, your company or your home computer became infected as a result. And then the hackers were able to siphon off information and maybe grab your banking passwords and get up to all kinds of other mischief doesn't really matter what Drydex did, because there'll be more malware along in no time at all. What matters is that you change your behaviour and you learn about computer security. Because if you do that, that's going to be the best level of protection imaginable. Yes, you do need tools. You always need a safety net. Even if, you know, you've been living and breathing computer security for years, sometimes you can make mistakes. You can just have a foolish second. You, the bad guys only have to be lucky once, remember, whereas you have to be kind of lucky every time, don't you? So, learn about computer security and privacy. Spread that knowledge to your friends, your family, other people in the workplace, and maybe we'll be much better placed to protect ourselves in future from attacks. And that way, we can really take advantage of the internet because the internet's marvellous. It should be brilliant. It shouldn't be a miserable place where horrible things are happening all the time. It should be somewhere where actually we're doing extraordinary things. I think the internet's amazing. Let's keep it that way. And the best way to do that is if each and every one of us learns about how to keep ourselves safe and private online. And that way we can defend ourselves from the bad guys and make it a fun, effective place to be. Look after yourself. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like it and check out some of the other videos I've made as well. And if you really want me to make more vids, then subscribe to my channel. All right. So, have you subscribed yet? Come on, subscribe.